Good morning. Van Gogh Galleria, some of the most delicious vapes they've got. We're going to try these today. I'm going to tell you all about them. Welcome to Saturday morning. It's Vape AM. It's Vape AM. We got Van Gogh Galleria. We're going to have a nice Saturday morning, and it's going to be a wonderful day today. Well, good morning. I'm Eli J.C. Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and you've tuned into Vape AM, the only morning vape show in the entire universe of universes in the entire world ever. And we are here every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 o'clock in the morning. We've been here for three years now. We're about to have our anniversary. It's pretty fun. Today, we're looking at these Van Gogh Galleria vapes, which are so delicious. We're going to vape these. These are some of my favorites, as you guys know. And we're going to start with Amour. We're going to move to Ichigo. Then we're going to go to Ophelia and rebuild the Cali while we chat and talk about these things. Yum, yum, yum. I hope all of you are having a good morning. This show is live, but it goes on to replay. So if you're tuning in for the replay, thank you. Feel free to chat along with us, just like everybody else. And uh, I do reply to these videos, and I respond to them, at least the week that they're up. Uh, hello, Esteban, Weird Will, Tony, Josh, Dave, Dr. Dolphy, who was so funny, he broke his keyboard, and now there's no spaces in his typing, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Feel bad for keyboard, lol. He was talking to Discord. If you haven't joined us on Discord, do that. Click on the link in, your bio, in the bio down there. And also, for your information, the links to these Van Gogh Gallery vapes are right down in the description, just a link right down there. And remember that those are Canadian prices. So if you live in the US, the price of these is, a 120 is $37.99 and a 60 is $23.99. And with your discounts, the price of the 120 goes to 36 bucks. So just so you know, it's math. Canada, and there's some exchange rates going on. All right, so first things first, that's over with. Now, let's look at the vapes. I am right this very instant vaping on the Amour vape. And Amour is so delicious. They introduced this last year. All three of these came from last year, but they've been reformulated to be just slightly sweeter and fuller. And this one came out, and I absolutely am so in love with this one. It is a raspberry yogurt cream. And it's so yummy. I cannot even tell you guys. I'll go. Careful viewers will know that we've been vaping these for a long time. Uh, and I absolutely love the Amour. That is exactly what is in this Aspire Feedlink kit with the iJoy SRDA right now. And we're squonking it up. All right. Vape it. I love this stuff. It is so yummy. It tastes like raspberry yogurt. I get a tang in the nose. I get a little bit of a creamy flavor. Most of the tang comes in in the middle. And the inhale. And I just love it. It's a great yummy custardy vape. This is creamy and smooth and delicious all day long. I vape this all the time, and it's one of my very, 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 very favorite vapes. You can ask Brady Beer who is one of our vape fam too. He's in love with this stuff too. So if you haven't tried this, try the Amour raspberry yogurt. It's so good. I almost don't want to move on. It's so good. Except that the Ichiro is the next one. And the Ichiro I have here in my Pulse 80 watt bottom fed kit in the Twisted Messes. 24 Pro Series with a single coil by Jason Coil and Tin on here that I've got in there, and we're squonking it up. This is Ichigo. Ichigo is a vine apple. This is a vine apple from Jap Japan. If you guys vape uh, Eaton Mess, you'll know that my two favorite strawberry vapes are Eaton Mess and this. Eaton Mess is a creamy vape. It has a kind of a meringue. Oops. Here it is right here. And this is like a strawberry cream dessert. And this guy is like a vine strawberry. It's so delicious. The description says, a smooth, flavorful blend of strawberries and cream with hints of vanilla and a slight drizzle of caramel. And I actually don't get the caramel and vanilla taste out of these, except in as much as they taste a little bit sweeter than last year. So I think that that description got modified just a little bit. They added some of those notes just to sweeten it up just a little bit. I absolutely adore this stuff. Yum. To me, it tastes like a vine strawberry, strawberry off the vine. It is a little bit sweet, and so I think that the vanilla and the caramel notes that they put in there, although I don't taste them specifically, I think they add to the, sweet, the overall sweet, round flavor of this thing. Just like all Van Gogh vapes, smooth for days. And why did I drip this? I have a squonker. <laughs> Squonk. That was pretty funny. 
he habits. It's so good, so good, so good. Vine strawberry, it tastes a little bit tangy, a little bit tart, a little bit, just in the back of your tongue, just a tiny bit to give you that vine taste. I absolutely adore this stuff. It's smooth, 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 and yummy. Yum. There's a note from the audience from Dave who says that he gave up on trying to make a DIY yogurt and he's going to try it again because of this. And it's funny because when I originally, I originally spoke to Van Gogh last year or so that telling him I was going to doing a yogurt vape and they were like, Oh really? And they sent me this and I gave up trying because this is so delicious. <laughs> I'm like, I, and I've tried since actually probably three times, but I can never make it as good. Even though mine's cranberry, which I think is slightly better than raspberry. That's just me. That's my own opinion. Um, so delicious Amour strawberry, a raspberry yogurt, delicious Ichigo vine strawberry, and now Ophelia. Hey, Josh Weiss sent us two bucks. Thank you so much, Josh Weiss. All of the money that you guys send through the donation system here, the Super Chat, or through sending money to PayPal, Jones at gmail.com, all goes towards buying cotton, keeping the lights on and all this stuff. And Josh, I love you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, buddy. And thanks so much for contributing so much in Discord, too. You're always active in Discord. Love that. All you guys are. Ophelia is mango strawberry. It's got a little bit of cactus fruit and kiwi in it to round it out. And this stuff is so delicious. I have a friend that only vapes this vape out of all the Van Gogh vapes. This is the only one that he absolutely just adores. And uh, he swears by this stuff. Today, we're going to put one of these, Jason, a set of these Jason Coil and Tin coils in here for fun into the Cali. I've had a cool single in there for a while. And it's been yummy, but I want to switch to a double because I'm in the mood. So we're going to do this together real quick. All I've got to do is grab my Allen key. Make sure all four of these are unscrewed. And three, four. Take my two coils and set them down in there just to check them out. I need to cut these so that they're even all four of them, and I don't want to cut much length off of them. I cut a little bit off both of these. Just to make them even. I'm gonna grab this guy, do the same thing. Actually, I'm gonna put the new ones on the inside reason is because I can gauge the sizes a little bit easier. Okay, so those four are the same size now. We've got them in now. I'm going to put them so that the curls go inward. Because I'm going to bend them in. Put them in there. They're pretty good. Take this guy. Right now they're crammed all the way down. I'm gonna pull them up just a little bit. Maybe I should have kept some of that length, eh? I'm gonna screw them in just finger tight there. Bend them in towards the middle. Now move it over here. Take a guy in there. Go all the way down. Move up just a little bit. Like I did on the other side. Give it a cinch. Hey, JT Munn, it's great to see you. Good morning. Hey, Cliff Fails, me.us. Great to see everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. We have some duels. Let's see what our reading is on this. We're reading 0 0.06, which should change a little bit over time. It's actually reading at 0 0.05, which isn't very good. All right, tightening it down a teeny bit. Okay. This were too low. This were too low, baby. <clears throat> that be? Can it possibly be? I'm gonna get another one. Gonna work a little. 
putting in a crazy little bill. Because I wanted Jason Cole and Tim. Right. And is this turn on? It's not turning on either. Wow, we're having a mod fail today. Here we go. Huh, weird. Come on, guys. Guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get another one. And see what happens. Because I don't think I have another one that will do this. Ah, maybe I do. Hey, Josh Weiss, Josh Weiss sent me 10 bucks with his no space bar. Absolutely no space bar on that guy and still sent me money. Thank you so much. I'm glad that it allowed you to do that. <laughs> That's so funny. I really appreciate that, you guys. You guys are the best. Just putting in some batteries here to see if I can get this mod to work too. Becky, that to work. That'd be cool. I feel like I'm having a total mod failure. Like nothing's working. Oh my God. Where is everything? Hey guys, what did I do with that atomizer that I just had in my hand? So I have a new pair of coils. I've lost the atomizer. Oh, there it is, right there in my hand. Okay. So this one's okay. It's reading just fine on the iJoin. It's funny how the capo didn't want to go to 0 0.05, but the captain doesn't mind at all. So mental note, who knew? Okay, so we're gonna squeeze that thing in there. All right. We can hear, oh, it went down to 0.04. Looks like these guys are going too low for my mod here. Can it be? That was when I put my fingers on it and stuff. Yeah, look at that. All right. Then I have a much simpler solution. A simple solution, because we got to get this Ophelia tasted, is that we're going to rebuild that right after the break on a different mod, and we're going to re-wick the Ophelia into the Pulse 24, which has a 0 .09 on it. Yep, 0 .08 right now. And interestingly enough, these are exactly Jason coil and tin coils as well. They're the same coil, so they're not registering the same here. Those might be a little bit different. These are a little bit higher than the last ones. So there you go, mental note. All right. All we got to do now, find the cotton. Now, as you guys know, I use cotton bacon. Quick wicks, juicy wicks. Use cotton bacon, quick wicks, juicy wicks. Definitely. That was amazing. The best wicking, in my opinion, bar none. Sorry if I lost some of you guys there during that little hunt. Here's an amount of wicking. It's a little bit too much. This in there. See how hot that is? I don't know yet. See if it's gonna iron out our thing. Pretty good. Dabbing, let's get through there. This little pointy thing through. 
Sometimes, even though the first one went great, the second one didn't go so great. In fact, in this case, I'm going to chop it. Give it a little time. I actually don't think I've ever done that before in three years on this channel. Chopped it beforehand. <laughs> I always use my patented method. Except that time, I was kind of experimenting with something different. Okay. It's going to be pretty good. Get these guys back in the package, shall we? Cotton bacon. Juicy Wicks cotton bacon. Over and over. Juicy Wicks cotton bacon. And the Cali. So yummy. Ophelia, Ophelia, Ophelia. Oh, Gary is asking about the, the uh, giveaway for Texas stuff. And yes, I did, sir. I'm so sorry I didn't contact you before now. But I've just been super busy. But the answer is heck yes. I'm doing another, another giveaway starting next Wednesday. And the answer is heck yes. And I'm going to get you set up. And now is a great time. I'm glad you reminded me. Do it right after the show. Thanks, Gary. That buddy, I hadn't forgotten about it, but it's on this list. This is very long. I'm happy just to put you up at the top of the priority because you're awesome. So here we are. We're just folding these down there in the bottom. I've gotten one of them just a little bit tangled down there. What I'm doing is I'm just pressing from the back side, push it out just a little bit, then I'm gonna scoop it back down inside there with my thumb. My Dental tool. Here we go. I'll grab this guy. We're breaking the surface of the cotton bacon, letting it stay oriented, and we're taking it down inside there so that the ends land in the bottom of that little reservoir here in the pulse. The pulse is an easy atomizer to use. I recommend this atomizer to everybody who's a beginner. It's a little bit leakier than some of the other ones, but it's one of the best for flavor and usability and everything. Love it. I'm just hitting them. I'm just pulsing it gently. Just to get some stuff up there. Oh, here I'll press the squonker. I've got each I've got Ophelia here in the squonker of this thing. Try to be thorough. Okay, we are stoked. And look at this drip tip that Jeremy Ukes gave me. That is amazing. If you guys want custom drip tips, he doesn't make these sort of full time, but he does make them for friends. And so you might hit him up and ask him if you got one, if he has one of these. And here we go. Oh, I didn't turn it up. That's a 55 watts. I'm going back up to 99 watts. 99. It's so good. That is so good. Mango strawberry. Mango strawberry. So if mango's a little bit too much for you, like on those Candy Lane vapes where the mango one was a little bit too much mango for you, it's not for me. It's yummy. Then this is good. It's got a strawberry to cut it, a little bit of cactus fruit, a little bit of kiwi. This is one of the best vapes they make. It's one of the best balanced. It's one of the best flavored ones. If you like fruit vapes, if you like even just smooth vapes, I'm not a fruit vape fan, and I love Ophelia. Oh, that's so yummy. Oh, that is so yummy. So, Van Gogh Vapes Galleria line. It is, oh, that Ophelia is so good. Just give you a recap. It's a Moor, the strawberry yogurt, Ichigo. I'm sorry, it's a Moor, the raspberry yogurt, my favorite. It's Ichigo vine strawberry, which is so delicious. And Ophelia, strawberry, mango, cactus fruit, kiwi. So good. These are all so delicious. Remember, you can get these at vangovapes.com. Click on the link in the description. Use the code JuicyJonesHQ to get a discount. Click on the link then, right down there. Oh, and thanks you so much. Cliff Vales also sent me a donation in the thing, <clears throat> along with Josh Wiest. And you guys are the best. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Y'all are the best. I really, really appreciate it. All that money goes towards just paying the bills and stuff. And so thanks so much. Yeah, it works so much. You guys are the best. Thank you. <laughs> Josh, you're funny. I'm just looking at the conversation here. So you guys are the best. I really appreciate it. Josh and Josh and Cliff. I didn't realize that Josh had actually donated twice. It's really nice. 
So these vapes are absolutely delicious. I love these. The main live part of this is over, and now we're gonna go into the after show here. If you've just tuned in, this is Eli Juicy Jones. It's Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and we're doing a review of the Van Gogh Vapes Caloria line. I love all you guys, and stick around, and we are gonna have a little chat hangout here live. And if you're watching on the replay, then just stick around and watch, and you can chat and chime in just like everybody else. So I hope all of you are having a great day. Thanks again from Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and vape on. Let's get old and not die of cancer. Thank you. Hi. Steven, hey Steven, it's great to see you. Look at your vaping juicy watermelon strawberry with the baked goodness of a frosted cupcake. That sounds good. That sounds delicious. Let's play with this, this uh, Cali while we chat, guys. I'll get down here and put this guy on here. We'll get two other coils. Take him on there. Hi, hon. Give me a Cali. Give me a Cali. Give me a Cali, 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 Cali. Oh, Dude Bang saying he's going to see Solo in half an hour. If you haven't seen Solo yet, make sure that you do. I've seen it. Let's see if you can see my light. Go see Han Solo. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite of the Star Wars spinoff movies, but it is great. I liked it a lot. Back. You guys will laugh at me. My Han is on. The is that he went with me to the theater? <laughs> so I took that with me to the theater. Oh, hey, thanks, Josh. Josh sent me fifty dollars into the super chat system, and thank you so much. You guys would not believe how much that helps. That is just an enormous thing. And uh, my God, that just that's going to pay for gear. Is what that's going to do. I'm going to have stuff to review. So thank you so much. Thank you. Love you guys. So yeah, if you haven't seen Solo yet, go see it. I, like I said, I don't think it's the best of them all, and I've got a few criticisms of it, but I had a great time. I love Han Solo. And let me tell you, if you're a Star Wars fan, there's a couple of scenes in there that even if you don't like the movie, you are definitely going to want to see a couple of things because it's big fan payoff. We get a couple of things that are like, oh yeah, that's for us. Chewbacca's great. I liked, um, what's his name, playing Han Solo pretty well. I don't think I liked him quite as much as Han, as Harrison Ford, but I liked him a lot. Anyway, I want to know what y'all's opinions are. Oh, Michaela says Josh is getting her a B2K. That's killer. Michaela can have her single coil goodness going on. All I'm doing is evening these coils up so they're the same length. I'm just cutting a teeny, 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 teeny piece off of each of these. Before I trimmed a little too much, I think. Now I'm putting them down in there. I need to loosen this one a little bit right here. So I meant to tell you guys, it's motorcycle season. And so pretty soon here, we're gonna be going on motorcycle rides. It's summertime and we gotta replace this with a real sticker from M's. You guys ride motorcycles, let me know. I don't know how many of you guys do. We have scooters at this point, but I'm an avid rider. Myself, I certainly am. Love to ride. Beautiful, wonderful girlfriend Aileen has a scooter, and we are done with that. Just got it back from the shop. All right. Now I'm just tightening this thing down. Hey, Dave, thank you so much. Dave Apes just sent me $5, too. I really appreciate that. You're the best. Thank you so much. I vape to all of y'all. Can't let it go. Have a great squeeze. This one is the Amur Ichigo. Ooh, Cliff used to have a sweet 149cc scooter. Yeah, the one that we have is, right now, is a 2002 
um, is a 2002 Honda Metropolitan 49cc scooter. And the thing is, well, hello, that was weird. The, the OBS software just completely crashed. Sorry about that. That's weird. I'm just finding you guys a picture of our scooter, which I can do. It's just weird. Because it's, Yeah, it went down for just one minute, guys. Sorry. It should come straight back. It'll come straight back, right? Preview pain. Huh. Well, that's really weird. I can't find that picture. I will, though. We're going to keep doing this. Here's me on the scooter. And here is the actual scooter. There it is. Browser. No! God, this is useless. Why is this so hard? Image. Scooter. There. There's the scooter, guys. So sorry that took so long. That's it. It's filthy and disgusting, but it's in perfect shape now. Now it's in great shape. I'm super excited. I got it back from the shop yesterday. We're riding. We're going to keep on doing our thing. It's going to be great. Looks like Gary's got a Savior MTL coming. Oh, the S S Savor. Savour. 82 Katana. Oh, me, that US had an 82 Katana. Great bike. My favorite bikes are, uh, like, my thing is like a Honda 754 or 550. My favorite and first bike was a Honda CM450 or CM400. It was in 1979. Love those bikes. I love all things like that. I love old bikes. They haven't really been, they've changed a lot, actually, in the recent days. Okay, let me see what this comes out to you. Too low. So these are coming out slightly too low for the squonk here. This is okay. Goes. One oh five here on the captain. Yeah, and these are crapping out. So they're too low for all these mods. I don't have any mods that'll run these. Let me try the Avenger. Well. Actually, I think I'll try the blade. Blade seems like a good one. Try. I actually haven't tried to build this low in a while, so... This point of five. 75 watts, going down to 45, so we're doing all right. Our desk lights went out. Just too hot, that's weird. Huh, how about them apples? All right, well, I guess that's over. Someone's going to have to repair their desk light.
It says short circuit, but why? What this tells me is that we're having some other problem with the Kali. I'm going to try tightening these a little bit more. Sorry my light went out, guys. I'll fix that. Tap. Just weird. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, how about that? Wasn't able ever to get, ever to get that right. Me you know, US brother had a lot of Hondas 400s Cubs. He had the CX Turbo and a handful of numbers. Nice. That is so great. I'm thinking about getting a, a Ruckus. So I'm not having any luck with mods getting this thing to read. You guys see that? How about that? I'm going to try the RX. For the DNA, why not? Yeah, Cliff, your advice would work, but something's wrong with the actual build here. And it's not even being read. Oh, there we go. So we're getting it here. The problem is actually there's just too low for those mods. We're just coming in too low. I always lock this thing. Yep, that's working just fine. Yep. Yep. There it goes again. Okay, we're looking good. Took me long enough. Oops. Move those a little too much. Yep. Not bad. But you know what? I'm trimming a little bit off of these. They're just too tall for me. U.S. says he's too tall for the small stuff. Yeah, I have that exact same problem. I'm 6'4". So, I'm always struggling. To, ow! I'm always struggling to fit on these things. Alright, so, we got these out of here. We're going to give them a little bit of a trim. Oops. Find them. Oops. I guess you hadn't noticed they're kind of hot. So, okay. There we go. A little bit off both of those. Back in there. I don't think I even took off a millimeter, to be honest. Off of those guys. Turn them back in. They're seated nicely. Pressing on this with my thumb in the opposite direction that I'm inserting it into the thing for isometric support. Josh Wee says he's letting go and get a real keyboard. Mental note that Jeremy Fuchs just got some of those Arctic Dolphin squonkers. If you guys are interested, you should get one of those Arctic Dolphin ones, I think, too. They're very, very much, or one of these guys. These things are fantastic. They really love them. Okay, so let's wick this and get it up on there. It's kind of weird that my light went out. I'm so sorry about that. It's one of those things where I just can't always control everything around here. Sometimes these things just fail. One just never knows. Yeah, US is frustrated with single battery mods. Yeah, I totally understand that. 
The only reason this one works is because it's got this build in it. Just a single. I wish you could see that with my terrible desk light. But yeah, that's not valid. Some people just can't get a satisfying vape out of it. it happens. Pull that through. Try again. Go ahead and cut it. Straighten this out. Stick her in. There we go. And now we cut. Sorry about the no lighting. I've lost everybody there. Two. Exposure. There we go. All right. All right, we're back. Here's our Cali. I'm pretty good. Take our dental tool. Moment inside. Setting that down. Put this one in. I guess I'll do this one first. Why not? Refusing to cooperate. And I just push them down up underneath there, trying to keep them straight. And do the same from the other side. My method. YM. MV. Always. Pull this one out. Yeah, there we go. Get them down. Get them down in there. You'll notice that these wicks aren't long. They're just long enough to get down inside there in the bottom and touch each other. That's about it. Not too much longer than that. Just enough to curl under, to soak up the stuff that comes up out of the bottom in the squonker, and to just connect on the bottom. That way, when you get saturation, the liquid will become to begin to move up to the coil quicker rather than slower. Ophelia, you're breaking my heart, shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Ophelia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you, please, home. don't go home. Since we don't have the benefit of a squonker this time, I'm going to manually squonk. I don't know if some of you guys have heard about this new manual squonking. But the way it works is there's no squonk tube in the bottom and you just actually pour the e-liquid on top like this and then vape at it. So every time the squonk is empty, you just re... I'm calling it dripping. You just drip more e-liquid on it. How about that? Isn't that fascinating? So you'll notice that now it's at 0.07. So since we built it, it's come up much higher. Let's try to put it on there and see if we reached our limit. Because it's reading higher. And there it is, 0.06. It says too low. He's a crap. 0.07 is, or 0.08 is usually the limit on these things. Very small number of them can fire lower. I crank this up. But 99 big ones. 105 big ones. And we're going to vape it together. All right. Yum!
That is so good. That is so yummy. Just looking at the chat here. Oh my gosh, I missed all your chatting. Hello, everybody. Oh, Leighton's back. Good. Hi, Chris. It's great to see you. Looks like Chris Denton is in London. It's sunny and humid. Wow, cool. Made some food. European cup. That's great. It's great to see you. Jamie Turner, buy the um, Jamie Turner, buy the uh, buy that Athena Squonk mod or this guy. I have a video about this thing I did last week. I like that one the best. Sorry, I missed your question at a few minutes ago. Get the Vandy vape 80 watt or the uh what is that what is that one arctic dolphin they're both 21 7. they're awesome okay good so i hope you guys are doing great what time is it we're a little ways into this and we're still building on this little guy right here i guess we're finished actually How are YouTubers with juice lines getting past the 2017 deadline meet at US? I hear they're going to be fined to death. Mm, I don't know. I have no idea how any of that works. I don't know what the results are going to be. Hard to say. I personally think that those deadlines are going to come and go and nothing's going to happen. That's what I think. That it's all just busy work to keep the politicians happy and that we're going to end up all being grandfathered in. I hope. That's what I think. But hard to say. Not if we don't keep fighting. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So Ophelia is so delicious. Dude, man, still waiting for that Lost Vape Fury and single 2700 Squonker. Oh, the Fury and the other one. So out of the 21700 Squonkers, um, oh no, let me think. The Arctic Dolphin is 21. The Fury is 21. This one is 2700. But either way, you're fine. Just don't get 18650. The 20s are fine. The 21s are great. 21s are even a little bit better in that case. But I really like them. I don't really like not using my squonk. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm annoyed right now that my squonk isn't squonking this. Because it's so low. Yeah, ohm's too low. 0.07. That's just irritating. Let me try it on the... On the uh, Aspire feed link, see what it does. The feed link, baby. Give that a shot. And the no, whole thing. Okay. Gonna be too low. Too low. Uh, excuse me. Dr. Dolph, he says 26650 poo. Absolutely. Who said 26650? Those are terrible. Never get one of those guys. Those are a waste of your money. 26650 are shit batteries. They are terrible. They never could solve the problem of them heating up too much in the center core. They never dissipate heat well. Gary says that Missouri may have passed a law to separate vaping from tobacco products. That would be cool. That is a first step in the right direction. Vaping products are not regular tobacco products. So that's nice to know. Thank you for that heads up. Looks like it came from Groom Green. That's cool. Ophelia is so good. I forgot which one I had in here, though. I think I actually have... Oh, I think I'm squonking a more in here. Oops. Dude, man, 26 millimeters around. Anything that says 26 is no. Like I said, they had problem with the center core's heat dissipation. So more length isn't going to solve that problem at all. It's the it's the diameter. So in these batteries, in these battery cells, it's a 20, it's a 21. 
here's a saying, you know, 2700A, and here is a Samsung 30T. So the problem with 20, and here's a 26650, is the diameter. So the diameter, this width, they never successfully got these things to hit, dissipate heat out of the center well, and the 21 size is like the magic size, where they're getting huge gains, huge amp rating, huge rechargeability, three amps. You also can't charge those um, 26650s at two amps all the time, most of the time. You can charge them at one. You can charge them at two. They're designed to be charged at two for longer, but they still won't last as long. Anyway, 26650s are crap. Crap. Uh, Dr. Dolphy says, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised by any fact that shows 26650s or any anecdotal evidence showing 26650s suck because I, I would be, I mean, even with high battery ratings, they still have crappy amp limits and they don't have I mean, the mod that they should. I mean, these 30Ts beat the holy living crap out of them, these things. This beats the fucking shit out of a 26650. There's just nothing like it. So this battery is the one, the 21700 is uh, the great one. And the thing is, for amp limits, these are both 30 amp limit. This one's 35. So 35 amps, 30 amps, you just can't go wrong with these. 30 amps is great. I mean, we laughed forever about 30 amp batteries being hard to get, and now they're easy to get. They're just 26650s in this case. Oh, my chat has been so far, I've been scrolled all the way up there. Looks like Dude Wang's gonna get some more 30Ts. Uh, did I order, Michaela's asking, did I pre-order CloudKiss e-liquid? No. I don't know what that is, actually. I don't order any liquid, actually. Like, I wait until people bring e-liquid to my attention because, um, you know, I don't know what's hot until someone tells me what it is because, you know, I just sort of know what I like, what I think looks cool or whatever. So if that's cool, then send me a message on Discord and paste a link or whatever, and then tell me all about it. Tell me all about it here, I wonder. Uh, we're about halfway in here. I gotta go. I mean, half an hour in and I gotta go. So. This has been a review of the Van Gogh Galleria line. This is great. Michaela, send me some info about that CloudKiss e-liquid. Um, and uh, I'll check it out. And uh, nope, never heard of it. Tea cakes? Yeah, I mean, yeah, may, I'm not that interested, but <laughs> maybe. Um, but uh, so send me some info. And I love all you guys. You guys are the best. Let me get my vape out here. 52 watts, 0.21 on the Twisted Messes TM24 Pro Series with Jason Coil and 10 coils. And this is Vandy, this is uh, Van Gogh Vapes Amour in here. Yum! Thank you.